a little bit. Time. A little time. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, it's time for new new sports. Victor Allen's own unique fan base view of sports, unique and happening. That's right, written and directed by the bald headed black man, the man that the ladies have nicknamed Sexual Chocolate. And here he is in the flesh. Ladies and gentlemen, here he is. Here's Vic! Yeah! Sporty man! Sportster man. Man of sports. I kind of like that last segment, which you guys did with Miko, because you actually have me listening more than having input. That tells me what both of you guys were doing was actually having a form. And I got to just relax and say, you know, I actually listen. You guys are like laying it out. And then I forgot I'm on the show. <clears throat> Amen to that. So <laughs> good about early job. signs first of time, Alzheimer's. First time, first time. Good, <laughs> jo- good. I mean, you got me. I was so busy listening. I said, "Oh, oh," I, and then I, <laughs> then I tried to flip it. <laughs> and say, "It's my turn." Hey, you guys, welcome to New New Sports. And for those of you guys who don't know, because it's a separate uh, course segment, we was talking about Iggy. And it was interesting because uh, if you want to check out more about that follow-up, well, you're just going to see us on the follow-up rebroadcast or the upload. I only have one topic today to talk about, and I think this is a no-win situation. I always thought the Lakers were the frontier team. They were always that trailblazing team, but they always had money in front of them. So they got to get a pass on stuff because where money flows, money goes. Akin to uh, the New York Yankees. But I now, even though I'm in La La Land, believe the Spurs are the frontier and the nexus. And when they hired the first female full-time assistant coach, former WNBA player Becky Hammonds, they went from, instead of being a baller shot caller, they went to a shot caller former baller. I got to give props to this move because nobody saw it coming. Media didn't see anything coming. There was no signs of conversation as it relates to the popularity of this move. And there's a no-win situation here. Because if they underhype it, then it's not getting the attention. If they overhype it, they're going to blame, oh, well, see, this is how it rolls. And I know Mario basically is always in support of a move like this. But instead of going that direction, I actually want to compare. Are the Spurs the example of the team? that does what they would call the collective, the team organization. It seems it braces everything with no drama. One of the best examples, better than, I would say, and I'm just, you, let me know, Mario, if you, you disagree, far better than what the Lakers or any other organization is, is, is demonstrating right now with this move. Yeah, it's, it's an organization that has actually come lately to be recognized for their excellence. In other words, every sports organization is not the same. Companies are always individuals. People, we tend to forget that. A company is really right. individuals, and that's what makes up the flavor of, of that company. So obviously the San Antonio Spurs, small small market team, right? but in a city that many people say is one of the better living environments yes. in the United States, yes. uh, very well organized and hand, handled team. And here they do this move, like Vic says, not previously announced so they didn't really have to do this right these are people who obviously are thinking in a progressive way and they probably have some experience with her because when you are the first of anything you you it's going to be a challenge and she obviously represents to such a such a way right that people look at her and say you know what we want to associate our organization with the energy and the brand that you bring so we have to kind of commend them yeah yeah, this is this is a move yeah. that, and I'm not going to try to paraphrase the uh, the words that Greg Popovich uh, communicated to Becky and said, "Hey, congratulations! We didn't put you in this position because you're female. We put you in this position because of your vision." And I think many of us always think we know what vision is like, you know. But when other people are recognizing that, I'm saying you. I had to stop Mario for a moment and said, think of a better team she should start this pathway on. And I included the Lakers, Miami Heat, Chicago Bulls, New York. Name a team that would have been better. No, No. it's very hard because you need leadership 
that is all about certain kinds of business. And it's just going to be unusual. Right. It's as unusual as we are amongst internet television yes. providers. It's, it's as unusual as that. Yes, yes. And, and here's the thing that I look at with Becky. Um, the idea that full-time coach, which means it probably says there may be some organizations that have what they call assistant coaches that are female, that may or may not be getting the pub. We don't know, and I didn't do any research on it because I want to go forward with this one. Will she have any problems with the players and the organization around her respecting her? I think from the top down, Greg Popovich says this is what you do. If anybody has a problem with this, this is going to be one of those things where she has the backing of the people who think she's headstrong and, and visionary. So to me, the demonstration is here is that she hasn't been put in this position as a PR move. Do you believe it's a PR move? No. Not at all. And as has happened in the past, these types of situations, again, are not new. The first ones always are going to endure some harassment. See, part of the whole thing is that they pick people who can handle that. That's why they mean, that's what they mean when they say you are the best for the job. Right. Jackie Robinson wasn't even the best black ball player of that's the right. time. Right. He was the one felt by them, by, you know, Mr. Ritchie. Right. Right. Branch. To Branch, Branch Ritchie. Ritchie mm -hmm. To be the one who could most handle it. In other words, what they want to say, will you take shit and not strike back? That's what they're looking for. Right. They're looking for your ability to take shit. Right. And not strike back. The ability to turn the proverbial other cheek. Because there were some folks in Jackie Robinson Day that was going to hit back. Right. They were right. say, screw you. <laughs> right. Okay, I'll forget live. this crap. I can live without. I ain't, I ain't here yeah. for take white folks shit. Right. Okay. Okay. Now, this woman's going to have to go in there and take some shit off a of ball player. Yes, she is. But believe me, she's taken shit before. <laughs> <laughs> right. You don't right. even get to this place right. unless you take some shit. Right. So I'm sure she'll be up to She'll be like, shit, you think I'm scared of men? Right. Uh, really? <laughs> I, I think the part that, and, and I agree with Mac, PMC, all of you guys. Yeah, time will tell, but. How many of us actually go and monitor assistant coaches around the league? Anybody? Does anybody say, hey, let's get the compass of performance by looking at the assistant co coaches? Which leads me to another question. I watch all the assistant coaches. No, you don't. See, you know what? <laughs> see. Uh, see. Yeah. 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 Did we just discuss the assistant coaches last night, Miko? Assistant coaches. That's right. What we word were, is that? We were, yeah. we were discussing the assistant coaches. Did you say that? Did that just the come out of your mind? The assistant coaches. Your Rolodex. Your mental Rolodex. What are you going to do? I'm going to play this part back. We were voting for the assistant coaches. The assistant coaches. I'm like, what? And the hockey ones. Now, wait a minute. Now, I do not want to reduce this topic down to this. But yeah. let me just say this. She's, she's nice, nice and attractive assistant coach. I'm just saying it. Now, whether, you, whether anybody agrees or not, I don't think you're supposed to ignore blah, it. Blah, 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 blah. I don't tell think tell ugly, us, tell ugly, ugly people have a hard time in the world. When anyway. Victor's no, I'm doing what Victor usually do. Blah, 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 blah. But what is so that? you find her attractive. Mario, you find her attractive? I think that's a beautiful basketball. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> that's a yes. Yeah. Okay, so go ahead. So aren't everybody, all of us, rated on our attractiveness or how we present ourselves? Whether it's, it's first, second, third, or fourth, we are all under a, a, a compass of measurement in our presentation. Yes, we true, are. Okay, true, so true. I'm saying, yeah, she looks pretty cool. I, I think she's cute. <laughs> I'm serious. I, I'm serious. Yeah, she, she is cute. She's Short pretty. Short crops in her nails because yeah. she has to dribble that ball. Yes. Now, the reason why that's difficult to talk about why? Because soon as somebody like myself go, ooh, she's uh, attractive or cute, somebody's going to wave. That has nothing to do with it. Well, that's yeah. not true. See, that's Thank exactly. you. That, has, that always Thank has you. something to do with it. Do with it. In every you. situation, Thank everywhere, you. forever, right. get over it. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Ah, here we go. Like the dude like said, why don't you just fuck, e fuck right. e each other into one color? No. Oh, right. Like race and sex are always a factor. <laughs> They're not called if, brand new. Whether they mention it or not, it's always a factor. It is yes, always. It is. And throw religion in there, too, because very it, often it, that, too. that is part of the factor, too. So it is. Race, sex, and religion. I, when you die, none of it matters, does it? And, Mac, a good, a good question. You said, have I ever worked under a female supervisor I didn't like? No, because I, I didn't get into I didn't like them. That didn't have anything to do with my performance. But I can tell you this. I worked for a woman who was the first 
female, black female, to be put in a high executive position at a company called Greyhound. I won't say her name. And I, her experience taught me how they put her in a position that also was historical, but all it takes is three or four ups, and it came down that no matter how good she was, they point blank had somebody communicated. Somebody's not just on your team, and they're making ways to make a change. Wow. She put me in a position to actually move me in management where I had no background whatsoever. And she taught me, she says, I at least have your back, not because I'm here to protect you. I'm here because I see the skills that you demonstrate and their management skills. Put me there, but then realize while actually enhancing, teaching, tutoring me, training me, that at the same time, there's this wave of people going, you're going out somebody else they want. They want them out of Iowa. It has nothing to do with your performance. You're excellent. So it taught me that you have to have a collective of people behind you. Mm. So while one, it reminds me of the work we're doing here. Mario and I talk about this. We work with a lot of people and say, here, let's focus on these people. Get them in order. And when I mean by that, learn what we do. And at the same time, don't worry about the people we're already working with because they're doing an excellent job. And then we realize to turn, to turn around and go, you know, there's some slacking going on back here. We're so busy looking at over here. We got some slacking behind us. And I think Becky's in this position where she knows everybody around her at that organization. is going to have her back. I just actually feel it. Or at least they'll be watching right. her. Yeah, they're going to watch her. I mean, you know what's wrong, Mark. It's good to be in a place where <laughs> people have your back. I've been in those situations where, 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 you're, where you're the one or the only one of a group. I've been in those situations many, many times. Oh, yes, you have. Same and here. so uh, there are things that come with that and things that are negative about it. It comes with it. Yes. Yeah. You know, racism, prejudice, and sexism all come with those things. You're expected to deal with that. That's what That's the right. pioneers are all expected to do. True. Being all the first right. black in anything, you're expected to deal right with right. racism. Right. And it's not appreciated if you run back and say, they're being mean to me. No, it's right. not. They're being mean to me because right. I'm black. Right. No one gives a shit. They are challenging <laughs> really they you by how well you can handle that on your own. They right. really want you to handle it and make things better so they can come back. And say, you know, race has really gotten to be a better area here at our company. Thanks to you, Tyrone. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. You end up, you yeah. end up saying for something. You because they'll, cause they know they have. Believe me, where I worked, I had some of the head guys come over to me and say to me, we know we have some bad people here. Right, they we tell know you. that. We and they came over to me and said that. Same. And you have to just learn yeah. to work yeah, we're around hoping, it. We're hoping yeah. that you would help that situation. Right. Okay. But well, you know, know, Mario, a that. lot of people. I mean, when when they voice those type of opinions, or they know, and you think mm-hmm. nothing's getting done, usually those particular types of characters usually, you know, put their foot in their mouth and actually get themselves kicked out the door if they don't have a particular uh, group supporting them. Time. Yeah, except they right. usually do. Yeah, the and that's what old, makes it hard. The good old guards, in other words, that's where mediocrity, part of the issue with the mediocrity, right. is that whenever you have these situations where you have sexism and racism and anti-Semitism, all these things, it allows people who are really mediocre mm-hmm. right. to continue in their jobs. And that's yeah. part of the thing. If you want to move forward, right. you have to challenge those good old boy networks true so i'm guaranteed becky will come in there and she will be crossing her t's and dotting her eyes she will have everything in order yes as she should right yes. being the pioneer that's it that's what is expected right of you that's right, right. and it's because they've done their homework already mm-hmm. it's not what they're hoping that she can do that's they, why you got they, the, the job, job. Right. the job was Your earned skills. that's it and so to me i say congratulations that's right the, i think the best organization that could have done this with her is the Spurs. Well, you know, they always say, let your skills speak highly for you. So no matter what happens or any shade or salt anybody tries to throw, no matter what nationality you are, if your skill set is up there and they can't do nothing but respect that, you in the right place. Wait a minute. Wait, I'm sorry. Wait a minute. Let me just say this. I, I can't help this. Mac, is that true? A news director sent you to to a KKK cross burning in Idaho. Okay, my new new sports. Is he just wanted you to cover it with that unique perspective. <laughs> That's, I'm done. I'm done. That's it. This was a special wow. new new sports 
Becky Hammonds. Congrats. <laughs> That's right, Victor Allen's New News Sports. Bringing the issues to the new light. A unique fan's perspective of sports. That's right. Written, produced, and directed by Victor Allen. New News Sports is a recurring segment of the Morning Coffee with Mario show. You can catch it here live every week, Monday through Wednesday. Again, written and produced, directed by the ball-headed black man, Victor Allen. Ladies, take a look. Rub his hand and make a wish. What? You too can have smaller hips. You just wish. <laughs>